Hi everyone, we're going to take a quick look at some of the updates that happened in Flipgrid. I was using it the other day with teachers and we ran into some places where things had changed and I thought I would share those with you and they're amazing changes. So first thing, you're entering your flip code is going to be on this first page, but it's down a little further and it's not quite front and center the way it used to be. So you might, depending on the screen size of your Chromebook or device, you might have to make sure that kids understand that the flip code is a little further down. Now when we come to the dashboard, you're going to notice something right away, hopefully, that there is the addition of Shorts. And Shorts is the new video camera that students can use, and they also have it up here just in case you want to just use it to download and put somewhere else, like Book Creator or in another app. So they're being very generous with this new amazing camera. But we're going to use it as a student, so I'm going to come over here to my grid. And I'm going to record based on the question. And it says, what did you like best about Book Creator? Because in this particular scenario, we were learning about Book Creator. So I'm going to go to the green add button. I was at a Catholic school the other day, and they called it the green cross. <laughs> I thought that was funny. And now I'm in the shorts video part. And this is exciting because it has all of these new features over here on the right-hand side. It has new filters which include being able to do things in yellow or blue or multicolored or different multicolors or sepia maybe. Um, it's not quite sepia, but I like the black and white. But what I love is this one right here called Pixel because there are some times when you just don't feel like being on video and you want to say what you think. And this gives me the opportunity to do that without having to be smack dab on camera. I think for some kids, this is going to be a game changer, especially in high school when we're worried about hair and how we look. So game changer right here. I'm going to go back to black and white. Now, I'm going to show the topic because I can't remember now what I asked. And it was, what did you like best about Book Creator? So I'm going to take that off. I'm going to remember. And now I'm going to add a sticker, the icon of Book Creator to make my video more interesting. So I hit that button and I do upload sticker. And when I do that, I'm going to cruise over to my desktop and drop that in and move my desktop again. And I can move this anywhere I want. I'm going to put it right here by me because I'm going to be talking about Book Creator. Some of the other things that I can do is I can, and I'm going to move that off, I can also add text. So I'm in black and white. I think red would be good here. So I'm going to add Book Creator just to add a little something to my video before I begin recording. And um, I think that looks good. So now I can begin recording. One point, I'm going to add another sticker, but you're going to see how I do that. I could, in fact, add um, maybe some drawing, and maybe I'm doing an arrow to Book Creator app, but that doesn't make any sense. So to get rid of this, you just do the undo button. Super easy. So let's start the recording. I really enjoyed learning about Book Creator today because it is a great app where students can show their thinking. Now, you notice how that sticker thing is gone. I can't add the thing I have about showing your thinking. So here's a little hack. If I come over here to the I'm editing good. section, I can now Oh, think to myself, wait, I want to add another sticker. I can add more. I come back here and it's back. So it's great. So I'm going to upload a sticker. I'm going to cruise over to my desktop where I have something waiting. And now I can add this making thinking visible. So now I'm going to continue to record and watch when I record. Um, that sticker will be there, but I would have to stop and edit that out if I brought something in. So I just keep going back and forth. You can do it however you would like. And making thinking visible is one of the most important things we can do with technology. Now, when we go over here, you're going to see I, really I have enjoy two learning. different segments. The first one I did, and I can move these around. I can change it. But it wouldn't really make sense if I did that. And making thinking visible is one. So I'm going to put it back. But I can I move really it around. I really enjoy learning. 
I can move it around so I can take photo at one part of the classroom, another part of the classroom. I can look at it and make sure it makes sense. And if not, I can adjust it so that it does make sense. Now, here's what's fun and new also in Flipgrid. So if I come over here, I don't have to do a selfie with these three dots, which is called more options. I can import an image or I can just select a frame. And so now I'm going to import an image. I happen to have one again on my desktop. I'm going to import that and oh, much better than me trying to take a selfie. Kids like selfies. I'm old. I don't want to take a selfie. So I like this. I can still do the stickers and have fun with them. And I can grab this one if I want and put it over here. I can still do all of those great things. And now when I do or submit my video, Flipgrid is going to ask me to do a title. Now from about third grade on, I think this is key. I tell kids, I'm not going to watch your video if your title doesn't entice me to it. So on this one, I might put reasons why book creator changed my life. Now you might want to watch this video. Let me put a couple of those there. So I submit my video and congratulations. Now when it's done, I want you to see something. When I go back, when I go back and I just do this in shorts, and I'm going to do a quick video in shorts because I just want you to see what happens at the end. So there's one I've already made. And this one that I already made, I have the option to save it or download it. And I can download it and put it on um, <clears throat> Twitter. I can put it on Instagram. I can send it to my friend on their phone. So they're sharing out this great new video taking program with everyone. And if I don't like it, like this one, I can delete it. So I'm going to do that on this one. But I could have downloaded it and shared it with everyone. So that's the new shorts feature. I want to just show you one other thing that was kind of I didn't know about until yesterday. And um, this is what kind of caught me off guard. But then I got used to it and loved it. So when I went to my um, grid and I went to my topics, if I go over just to my grid as a student, the there's no longer any cards for your topics the way they are used to be. Instead, there's a drop down menu. And from here, students can decide which one they want to go to. So this is the difference in the topics. It's fantastic. I like it because I used to have so many topics and then I was getting all confused at where they were. And this makes it easy. I can also go back and here's a little tip. If I want students to really focus on, let's say, checks for understanding. If I go back to my dashboard and I say, view topics, I can move these around and I can put checks for understanding at the top. So it becomes the active one, the one that's pinned, the one I'm telling kids I want you to use. So this is an insight into some of the new things. There are others like amazing new topics inside of Disco Library from Flocabulary, from Nearpod, from uh, Wonderopolis. And so those are really fun too. You're going to want to check those out in the Disco Library. I had a ball yesterday looking at the ones by Flocabulary because in case you don't know, Flocabulary gives like kids lessons in things like pronouns by doing rap songs. So if I hit that video, I'm going to get over to the vocabulary version of pronoun. Vocabulary. I know you know nouns, but are so, you a pro in Kids love that. So anyway, those are some of the new updates. I think you're going to love it. I think kids are going to love it more and I can't wait to see what happens.